getting a good degree. The DSA really does help to bridge the gap between education and work. All of the skills that the student will learn through their DSA process and through the training that they get and the support that they get will help them to qualify, which is obviously going to be important for them to be getting a job, but also is going to give them skills and tools that they can then translate into their working life as well. All the evidence points to the fact that disabled students in receipt of the Disabled Students Learn tend to stay the course. It, it helped me perform to the best of my ability. I think I wouldn't have been able to really show what I am strong at. I don't think I would have been able to get the qualification that I did. Once the student has qualified and finished their course, the DSA funding will then stop. But there is a process called the Access to Work Scheme that they can apply for, which will then allow them similar funding for themselves and their employer to enable them to have, again, the equipment and software that they need in their working life. Access to work can bridge the gap of saying, OK, we realise that your business might not be able to afford to make these adjustments for you, we will help out. If you've already applied for Disabled Students Allowance, you've had experience of making what's known as reasonable adjustments. If you are experienced of knowing exactly what adjustments you're going to need, it's going to make the recruitment process that much less daunting, not only for you, but for your employer as well. It's not asking for special treatment, it's being able to compete on a level playing field. And if you're working in a competitive environment, you need to be able to perform at your best. And it's in your employer's best interests to allow you to do that. It's hard going into the workplace and it's always going to be hard, but don't make it harder on yourself than you have to. I think many disabled students assume that employers don't want them. Employers are looking for people who are going to contribute to the business, people who bring skills, interest, aptitude, who can demonstrate that actually they're prepared to work hard and take the job seriously. They are looking for exactly the same things from disabled students as from anyone else. The student who's using the DSA to make sure that they've got the equipment that enables them to do exactly what is needed in order to get that degree is simply showing that actually they're adaptable, they're clever, and they don't get hung up on stuff that's got nothing to do with their ability to do the job. I've seen students where they've told me it's been a life-changing experience for them to be able to have this sort of support and it really has helped them to carry on and do the things that they want to do. DSA itself doesn't help to get the job. The grades that DSA helps you to get helps you to get the job. <laughs>